citizens, and I welcome that. Thank you. Um, I call the Honourable Chris Finlayson. Yeah, Mr Chair, I want to speak uh, to one particular aspect of the estimates, uh, and that concerns uh, the Attorney-General's appearance before the Justice Committee, and I must confess it's my misfortune to have to follow on from the Green MP, whose speech was nothing more than melodramatic and formulaic drivel. There is a lot that I could talk about uh, in her third grade effort, but I would rather concentrate on what could be potentially an important issue, and it's one I've, I've raised with the attorney offline, but I do need to get it on the record so that if it all blows up, at least I can say, I told you so. Uh, and not you, sir, but I mean that in the general sense. And this is, this, it concerns uh, temporary judges. Uh, the previous administration decided that temporary judges uh, were constitutionally improper, and so when the court's legislation was reformed a couple of years ago, uh, the new District Courts Act provided that you could, one could no longer appoint temporary judges. Uh, the former Attorney General, Dr Cullen, had appointed quite a number of uh, temporary judges, and at one stage I think there were 22. Uh, temporary judges who were appointed for fixed terms, and the, what normally happened would be that district court judges on a temporary warrant would be made permanent after a period of time. Uh, and toward the end of the National Party's term in office, we decided that you, one could no longer simply increase the number of judges every couple of years, although the cap had gone up from 156 to 160 uh, when the new district courts legislation was passed, that one needed to have a sensible assessment of just what the population projections were uh, so that there could be a proper discussion about the cap. Uh, and that work, I understand, uh, is almost completed now. But at the present time, we have nine temporary judges whose terms uh, are going to expire between the end of this year and about June next year. And my concern uh, is that their terms may expire before this parliament has had a chance to look at the question of the judicial cap or whether indeed there should be a judicial cap. Uh, because what we're seeing uh, is that district court judges continue to be appointed, but they are being appointed as permanent judges, uh, and that the temporary judges stay in that limbo state of temporary judges. So there is at least a possibility uh, that those persons' terms could come to an end, uh, and then they cease to be judges. Uh, and that cause, could cause problems uh, for the administration of justice. So I think the government is going to need to get on with this matter pretty urgently to complete the piece of work uh, that has been done as between Mr Little's ministry and the Chief District Court judge on a judicial resourcing model and then make some decisions about what the cap is to be so that if Parliament needs to move to increase that cap to protect the position of those temporary judges, it can do so, and that those judges will not necessarily cease to be uh, holding judicial warrants. So it's a, it's a rather uh, arcane, but it's a very important point uh, that, uh, we, that this Parliament may need to address at relatively short notice. I've been given to understand there's no problem but I think there could be a problem uh, and that at least a number of temporary judges' warrants will come to an end. Of course, we did not approve of temporary judges because it's unconstitutional for the executive to be appointing to the judiciary people for, uh, say, a term of two years because the implication, or at least the, the fear is that people will say, well, if that person's um, appointed a judge, in order to get a permanent warrant, he or she uh, has to please the executive. The important thing is, as soon as judges are appointed, they should be able, as a separate branch of government, to get on with the, ro the, the role of uh, judging without fear or favour uh, in terms of what the executive wants, but it's very important uh, that they not be appointed for fixed terms. So that was the rationale about why temporary judges uh, as a category was disestablished, but there is the small remaining group, and we need to make sure uh, that uh, 
if the cap is to be increased, it can be increased in such time uh, that these people do not lose their warrants. The question is that vote.